CataractCoach.com. Routine Fago Flip Technique. Here's how to safely bring the nucleus up out of the caps or bag. This is a complete cataract case shown start to finish. There's the paracentesis. Again, good draping. Now, the fixation ring wasn't doing such a great job holding the eye, but I'll show you the whole case anyhow. So there's the paracentesis, anesthetic going inside the eye. This is lidocaine, 50%, uh, 1% lidocaine cut with 50% bounce salt solution. And that's preserved free, of course. Now, I hope that patient's going to do a better job of fixating on the light. Let's get our dispersive viscoelastic in. There you go. Good coat there. You definitely want a good coat of viscoelastic if you're going to do phaco flip. Because remember, you're going to bring that nucleus partially up into the anterior chamber. And you want to really protect those endothelial cells. Now, phaco flip is especially good for these softer type of cases. So, very mild to moderate nuclear sclerosis. There's the main incision being done. There it is, nice tunnel length, I'll take it. Now, time to get this rex done. Hopefully the patient will cooperate a little bit more. That big white reflection, of course, is the tear film, and let's get this eye set it up a little bit better. This is a good case to show you because sometimes you get into these kids situations where the patient's not the best at fixating or not the best at cooperating. So we'll get our rex done. Now, important, for phaco flip, you can't have a baby rexus. At least five millimeters, even five and a half is great. But if it's four point something, I probably would avoid doing phaco flip, especially if it's 4.5 or smaller, and it's gonna be tough. Because remember, our goal is to get the nucleus out of the bag. The nucleus is much bigger than our rectus, but the nucleus is soft. And we're only getting part of the nucleus out of the bag. We're not getting the diameter out. You're getting a cord length out, right? Think about it. So hydrodissect, 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 slow and steady, and there you go. There's part of the nucleus out of the capsule bag. Now, what did we lose? Viscoelastic. So look at that. Adding more viscoelastic right here in the center. So important. Faco probe going in the eye. Faco setting is power modulations, flow of 40 cc's a minute, 400 to 500 millimeters of mercury, and a sufficiently high bottle height or infusion pressure. So I chop it right in half. And then that first half, I can just emulsify. And all I'm trying to do here is just keep the tip of the Faco probe occluded. So it'll come out very fast, very easily. Now, at the beginning, when we did that hydrodissection, the key was not force. No, no, no. It's slow and steady. By seeing the first fluid wave, don't stop. Keep injecting, slow and steady. Second wave, third wave, etc. it'll all come out of the bag. Anyway, boom, just like that, whole nucleus is gone. You're not even three minutes into this case, and there's no nucleus remaining. So again, it's an efficient technique. Now, if you're learning this, it ain't about speed. So don't quote me on that, but it's about efficiency. And for an experienced surgeon, this is a very efficient technique. And so nucleus is removed. You can switch to the eye probe, clean this up, putting that inside the eye, and we'll clean out this cortex. So when do I use phaco flip? Well, a lot of the softer cases. So if it's less than 3 plus NS, so if it's 2 plus NS or less, I think it's a very good technique. It's very fast, very efficient, but very safe. It's very hard to crack or chop a nucleus that has a 1 plus NS. It's just too mushy. So as a result, you want to do something that will make that a little bit easier. It's safer, too, because you're away from the capsular bag. You're far from the posterior capsule. Now, you are closer to the endothelium, but we had a great coating of our dispersive viscoelastic at the beginning. And this is a very soft lens. You don't need much phaco energy, so you're not going to damage the cornea. I assure you, this patient had an absolutely clear cornea and sharp vision on post-op day one. This patient is a 2020 post-op day one patient. So now I'm going in here with, oh, split by manual to get a little bit left co cortex that was left there in that sub space. Taking our time there, just making sure it's all cleaned up. This handpiece is quite helpful for that. This is that transformer handpiece that can split into two pieces. And now let's fill up the caps or bag with our cohesive viscoelastic and then put the lens in. There's the cohesive. Remember, the cohesive is nice because it comes out very easily. There's that rexus edge. You can see it's a good size rexus. So let's get the lens in and we can compare the rexus size to the IOL optic because you know the IOL optic is six millimeters. So here it comes, single piece acrylic lens. Put that right in the bag. There's that leading haptic already open. The optic, trailing haptic, let's get this dialed in. You can already see it's going to be just about a five, five and a half millimeter axis, and that optic is six. Pupil looks a little bit smaller now, maybe four and a half to five. We'll get that one haptic released. There you go, and get this rotated. That looks fantastic. So nice, easy case. And patients, patients are very happy with this technique. The, the, the 
Visual results are very quick, very easy, and the surgery itself is very painless and efficient. So coming out of the eye here, just double checking everything, making sure there's no retained lens material there. That's that sub-incisional space that we worried about at the beginning, just to be sure. So going over the eye probe, take out our viscoelastic. Again, going behind the lens, and you can see that uh, six millimeter optic. This patient did very well in the post-op period when it was quite happy, and I think it would have the other eye a week or two later. So this is a phaco flip technique. It's something you should definitely learn. I prefer it for soft cataracts, and those soft ones you really can't do phaco chop that well, and certainly not divide and conquer when you have such a little nucleosclerosis. So for those types of cataracts, phaco flip is your friend. And if you're just starting off learning cataract surgery, like one of my first year junior residents, these are great cases to book at the beginning because you don't have to have that nucleofractus technique down. We're just gonna get it out of the bag anyway and phaco aspirate it. So this is a great way to start off. The patients who are 50 years old, all PSC cataract and you know, zero to one plus NS, that's a great patient start. Thanks for watching these videos. And remember to go to cataractcoach.com and sign up for a free daily email. We'll send you an email every day with a great video like this and other surgical pearls that'll make you a better surgeon.